what's maybe another role that I see this gun fitting into? Probably one of the best roles that I see this gun fitting into is the mountain gun, the hiking gun, the backpacking gun. Hello my friends, Late Boy Scout here with my review of the Glock 27 semi-automatic handgun. That's the subcompact Glock in 40 cal. During the course of this review, I will probably disregard a lot of information about the gun, a lot of the specs, a lot of, a lot of information about the size. I will tell you that the weight is about 26 ounces. But I'm going to disregard some of that other stuff because so much of it is very easily found online and uh, I don't want to waste time talking about it here. I'll uh, try to compare it a little bit to some other guns, not really bringing them in, but just talking about other guns. And mostly I want to focus uh, this review on some of the roles that I see this gun fitting into the best. So we can see right now that it's unloaded, which means that it's safe to handle. And we can also see that it's wearing something called clip draw. I'm not going to talk very much about that at all. Look at some of my other videos if you want to know what clip draw is and how it works. We're going to leave that alone for now, though. So, the Glock 27. Clearly uh, a subcompact Glock, as I mentioned before. What that means is, this is one of Glock's best, well, about the best offering from Glock as far as concealed carry is concerned. Now, prior to the introduction of the subcompact Glocks, we had the compact Glocks. This is a Glock 19. The 40 cal equivalent would be the Glock 23 you can see that there is definitely a difference in size. Okay, the handle is much shorter. The slide is much shorter. Okay, there is definitely a difference in size, meaning that this one is going to be an easier one to carry. However, does that make it ideal for concealed carry? You know, that's, that's some of the questions we want to ask. And I don't think that this is one of the best guns you can buy for concealed carry. Strike that, I don't think this is the best gun you can buy for concealed carry. It is one of the better ones, for sure. Um, when you talk about Glock, you talk about reliability. And that's what everybody says, and that's what everybody understands when you get into a Glock. Simple, you know? Really, really easy to use. There's no safety, no external safety on it whatsoever. Uh, this, all the safeties are internal and all deactivated by that little press right there on that little blade in the trigger. Okay, so simplicity. Simplicity is, you know, is, is great. And when we can get that in a semi-automatic handgun, you're doing really, really well. And that's probably one of the reasons why it is a very good concealed carry handgun, a defensive handgun. So I think that that right there is a, an excellent role to put the Glock 27 in. Nice. It's Clear. not the best for that, and I'll talk <laughs> about that a little bit further. There are definitely guns that are slimmer, okay? slimmer than this blocky Glock 27, which is over an inch wide, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you can definitely do better in regards to that. Also the slide, you know, it's pretty short, but it can get shorter than that. There are definitely some shorter ones out there. Uh, ergonomically, you know, that uh, grip is kind of fat, kind of fat. All right, so you can bring that in a little bit if that fits your hand a little better with some other guns. Uh, the Car CM9 comes to mind. Lots of other ones come to, not, come to like mind. Uh, if you want to stick to 40 cal, again, there's a car CM40 and then a bunch of other guns that uh, are excellent in the 40 cal. So I can definitely recommend it for that, but we'll probably tell you to look at some other guns if you really want to be able to, con to conceal carry very, very consistently. Okay? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll leave that uh, subject alone for now. What's maybe another role that I see this gun fitting into? Probably one of the best roles that I see this gun fitting into is the mountain gun, the hiking gun, the backpacking gun, the hunting gun. No, not hunting with this gun. You don't go take this to try to take down a bear. Absolutely not, that's stupid. You bring that gun for when your other gun fails, or let's say it's on your shoulder and you can't get it into action fast enough because a bear or charger, a mountain lion or whatever it is like is up on you all of a sudden. and. You've got kind of about, spooky, huh? you know, a few seconds yeah. to draw and present and shoot. Like, okay, that's when you I want something like this really accessible and on your side. Is it too small? Well, that's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. Will it fit into your, um, you know, into your system correctly, you know, properly? Will you be able to draw that and present it and get it on target fast enough? 
Well, that's for you to decide, and you may say that, no, the Glock 23 is going to be a better size gun for me. But keep in mind that by picking up the Glock 23, this is the 19 again, but it's the same size as the 23, you're going to be adding three ounces to your load, not three ounces, I think four ounces to your loadout. Fully loaded, the 19 and 23 are about 30 plus ounces, 30-ish ounces, I think. So bear that in mind. Well, how much is this? About 26 ounces. I think I said that at the beginning of the video. 26 ounces. So four ounces, does that make enough of a difference for you that you want that subcompact size? You know, it's not just a matter of weight. It's also size. Maybe it is really hard for you to uh, incorporate that into everything else that you're carrying. So maybe the subcompact is really right up there. Well, in my view, in the ways that I use a handgun in the outdoors, the way that I carry a handgun in the, in the outdoors, I find that the Glock 27 is, you know, it might just be tops. It might just be as good as it gets. Because you've got that lightweight, 26 ounces is relatively light. Um, a great round count, by the way, this is a nine, uh, let's see, yeah, nine round magazine. And that's the one without the extended base plate. Extended base plate gives you 10 rounds in here plus one in the chamber, if you, if you choose to carry with one in the chamber. Um, and you probably should. But uh, anyway, so what I'm saying is, you know, you've got good round count, um, and relative to the weight, it's, you know, it's a very, very good amount of firepower, let's say. Um, what are some guns that would compare to that, that you might choose instead of a mountain gun? We're talking outside of the realm of semi-autos, and that pretty much puts us in revolvers. Well, a lot of people look at revolvers and go, that's a great mountain gun because it's super reliable. You know, nothing can go wrong with a revolver. Nothing can jam. Well, you're basically right. You're basically right about that. However, most of those revolvers that you might carry in the same role that you would put a gun like this weigh how much? Well, fully loaded, uh, Ruger SP-101, from my research, is approximately 30 ounces. Same as this, fully loaded. Okay, and how many rounds do you get in the Glock 23? If I'm not mistaken, not 15. I think it's 13, or is it 12? Well, anyway, in the Glock 27, it's 10 plus, or 9 plus 1, so 10 rounds. Okay, double what you get in that little revolver that, that weighs 4 ounces more. Okay? So, and, are you really giving anything up by way of reliability with choosing a Glock? Most people will say, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't think you are. I very happy to, I'm very happy and feel very equipped, very well equipped when I have a Glock 27 in the wilderness. Now, we can also talk about um, some other options for wilderness use, some def wilderness defensive use, like bear spray. Okay, and that's, a lot of folks will tell you that that's even better as a deterrent than a handgun. Now, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to subscribe to that idea, actually. And I won't go off on too much of a tangent there. But I, uh, I really do think that uh, bear spray makes a lot of sense. Some folks will say, hey, yeah, I don't want to ever kill anything out there. I just want to be able to defend my life, so I'd rather have bear spray. Okay, more power to you. Guess what? You just saved, like, 20 ounces. Seriously. Because a can of bear spray weighs, like, 8 ounces, 8, 9 ounces. Well, my point is, as I'm doing this review, guys, and I'm going gone a little longer than I meant to, the Glock 27 is a very good gun for concealed carry, not the best, and a very good option for outdoor use, for carrying in the wilderness and protecting yourself. But is it the best there? Mm, that's kind of hard to say, too. Whatever the case, if you are happy with a 40 cal in a gun and you definitely want to have a gun in the wilderness... I don't think you can do a lot better than the Glock 27. And that's my review of this excellent gun, one that's also very ubiquitous and easy to find and well, well known. I'm the late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.